Welcome back. This is Chili Davis back to do another video. I want to welcome back all my subscribers and welcome to my new viewers. If you're new, please click the subscribe button. And I want to welcome three or four new subscribers, Wilson Koo, Joshua Felda, Reba, and Glenn. So I want to thank all those new subscribers for stopping by the channel and subscribing with me. So if you're new, please click the subscribe button. Again, this is Chili Davis and my channel about two years ago began talking more about financial literacy topics such as stocks, crypto, and other uh, financial literacy topics such as cars, buying homes, and credit cards. And one of the things that I like to say, uh, financial literacy is very important to your life. Uh, financial literacy gave me the ability to improve my credit score, but not only that, access more capital and access to uh, different assets such as crypto and stocks. So I'm going to move on and talk about my top stocks of the day uh, pretty quickly. Uh, the market is up in the NASDAQ. As you can see, the NASDAQ index is up 1.72%. The Russell 2000 is up 0.66%. Uh, the S&P 500 is actually up and the Dow Jones Industrial is up. So if you don't know, it is uh, earnings week. So we've had several companies report. We had Amazon, we had Ford report on yesterday. Uh, just take a quick look. Amazon stock reported earnings yesterday uh, and it's up 15%. So let's take a look before yesterday. As you can see, Amazon stock dropped off for, for the last few days. And then after earnings yesterday, boom, it jumped up over 17% after hours yesterday. And here we are with Amazon at 3,200. Uh, now, so Amazon uh, talked about on its earning call, its cloud services and about a lot of its other projects going. So again, Amazon is leading the way this tech rally we're having. Also, we did have Ford reported and they did not meet the numbers. So as you can see, Ford after hours yesterday fell off a cliff. It fell over 8%. So Ford stock fell over 8% on yesterday after missing estimates revenue for the quarter. As you see, Ford fourth quarter 2020 earnings disappointment and issues with semiconductor uh, supply issues. But here's the thought about this Ford being down. This is an opportunity. As we saw Ford this year earlier got up to uh, $25 per share. So this is actually an opportunity to capture more Ford before they release the F-150 Lightning in the spring. So again, this is an opportunity. Do not take this as Ford, I need to sell my stock. This is an opportunity to buy more Ford stock. So I just wanted to let you know Ford reported Poor earnings on yesterday, but I believe they will get through this and then next quarter they will come back. So Ford fell off yesterday uh, after the earnings call uh, due to uh, some semiconductor issues and disappointment on earnings. So uh, don't worry about that. That is temporary. OK. All right. So let me get to my portfolio really quickly. Uh, the Robin Hood portfolio is up 0.38%. Uh, and as I mentioned, Amazon is leading the way with 15% on the day. Also, Snap, Snapchat is up 60%. Oh, my gosh. Snapchat is up 60% after earnings. So that is awesome, too. Uh, Shopify is up 8.82%. Uh, Square, Square is down 6.70%. Uh, is up 6.70%. So this is a tech rally. This is awesome. We've got stocks way over 20% up. We got stocks up over 5%. Now, mind you, on average, you want your portfolio to go up about 1% or 2% a day, but we have stocks going up over four, over 17%. Okay, so you have Roblox rebounding up 4.9%. Revol Group up 3.73%. This is the online retailer. Uh, what else we have? Affirm, Affirm Holdings is up 8.30%. Uh, Charge Point is up 4.8%. So, so it's a fantastic day. Also, we have Unity Software up 17%. So 
We have several stocks over up over 10% on the day. So it's a great market. Today, we see a slight rally again. Um, as you can see, Apple is up slightly. AMD is up 3%. Uh, okay, so, so actually, today was a good day, and it, and it happened late. So if we look at the way the day opened, uh, let's see right here, 6 o'clock. Okay, so the day opened, it, it went up slightly, and then it fell. And now at this afternoon, it is climbed and it's climbed. So that is awesome at, that the market turned around after lunch today. And uh, all those people doing puts, good for you. Also, we've got Bank of America. That's an actual value stock that is up 4%. Okay, so I own a lot of Bank of America. So, you know, I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, Next thing we have uh, earnings whiplash points to more volatility in the U.S. market. Also, we did have job reports for the month of January just reported this morning. So that's another thing uh, acting on the market. I believe there was a good jobs number. OK. Uh, strong results from Pinterest snaps uh, spur turn in a clobbered social media stocks. So here it is. We have snap up 16 percent. And then we have Facebook falling 25%. So it's they're both in the same sector, but Snap is seeing to come out of this positive. Okay. Uh, Tesla plans to build a cathode building at Texas Gigafactory. So again, Tesla is building yet another plant or factory or production tool to help them uh, spur more creation of their vehicles and batteries. Uh, Okay, Ford expects 2022 to be profit to rise as much as 25%. Again, when you see the stock fall, this is a signal to buy more Ford, okay? So I'm just giving you an idea. Uh, you do your own research. There's Smiley Fool. There's several other research sources. But again, Ford is, is, is telling you they're expected operating profit to rise as much as 25%, okay? So you have to buy the dip sometimes. <laughs> And lastly, uh, explainer cost nickel and cobalt used in electric vehicle. Okay, so Reuters saying that, you know, the cost of these items are going to go up. The cost of nickel and cobalt, because this is a main ingredient used inside of Tesla's batteries and other EV makers, that whether you're a Rivian or you're a Ford making an EV, they're going to need more nickel and cobalt. So again, uh, just be reminded that as Tesla grows, uh, right now, uh, Tesla is about one to two percent of the car market. One to two percent out of hundreds and millions of cars on the road, Tesla is only one percent. I know if you live in California, you see about five or six Teslas as you go to work, but in the whole U.S. market, we're only one percent of the vehicles. Okay, so Tesla is going to need a lot more nickel and cobalt as the demand grows. Okay. All right. And Reuters also reports U.S. banks sees business lending driving growth in 2022. Again, that is good news for your financial uh, institutions such as Bank of America, J.P. Morgan. As business grows, their profits grow. OK, so this is this is some some of this is basic economics. But just to give you that uh, information, U.S. banks sees uh, a good outlook. OK. All right, so let me get to my top stocks here in my other portfolio. In my other portfolio, we're up 2.16% on the day. Uh, Tesla is my high flyer, uh, up 3.93%, almost $600. Okta in second place at 3.92%. Twilio, 6.72%. Affirm Holdings is up 8.44%. Again, uh, Affirm Holdings was just upgraded this week. So even though the stock year over year is down over 50%, they were just given an upgrade by one of the Wall Street firms. So let's take a quick look. I always refer to tip ranks. And we go to tip ranks and uh, I'll just do it this way because it's easier. Type in the symbol Affirm. As you can see, Affirm's holding new price target is still above $100. The 12 month price target is still above $100. So you if you're if you're completely new to the stock market, a firm holdings could be a good buy for you. Now if you've been in the stock market for more than a year, 
you're probably and you and you bought uh, uh, a firm holdings before the reset in December or November, you're probably upset. You probably lost a lot of money. I have, but I'm still holding on to a firm. I think that that with its new price targets, it can still come back to at least hundred dollars per share. And it'll be a better stock for me in the long term. Okay. So firm holdings has just got upgraded again. If you go and look. Upgrade. Uh, okay, here it is a firm holding stock bounce up after DA Davidson upgrades. And this was just a few days ago on the 28th. So again, a firm holdings rise 4.9%. This was a few days ago. But understand, once they had that major sell-off, that was a reset in the stock price. That was a repricing. So now their firm holdings basically got all the air out of it, all of the information of the previous year. Uh, some of these fintechs, such as a firm and Upstart, were split in half. And so now they were just given uh, an, a, a ride, an upgrade by D.A. Davidson, uh, by Christopher Brendler, upgraded the buy now, pay later financer to a neutral, okay? So there's three uh, stages of, of a stock. There's sell, there's neutral, and then there's buy, okay? So there was a major Wall Street analyst firm that decided to put a neutral rating, okay? So that means at least hold it. It means that the stock can be going in the upper direction, okay? So that is what happened a few days ago on January 28th. And as we see, the stock is performing even better now, okay? So that is a firm holding gets another bounce today. A firm holding gets another bounce today, over 8% on the day. Also, as I mentioned too, we have Snap. Snap was up 59%. It is not a major position for me. I, I actually sold some Snap yesterday. Believe it or not, right before the earnings call, I did panic. I sold some Snap. Even though I regret it, I still, you know, hey, guess what? Uh, there's always time to build a position, okay? And as you know, on my channel, I talk about a full position. A full position would be like my Tesla shares, where the position is over $10,000. Uh, in general, if you want to build a half a position, that would be about $5,000. And right here, I've got about a quarter position in Okta. Octa, I have a quarter position in Twilio. I have probably a, a tenth of position in AMD. I have a quarter position. Okay. So you really want to, if you're invested in a stock, you want to build dollar cost average, but you want to build a solid position in a company that would be anywhere from basically nine to $10,000. If you're just starting in that position, it's, it's about $1,000 to start a position in a stock. Okay. Now I'm going to go and take a look at my all-time greats because I love looking at my all-time greats. And I know my all-time great is Tesla. Tesla, I'm up over 572%, but I'm going to look at some early ones today, okay? So I've got Ford. Ford is one of my newcomers on coming. Uh, earlier this year, I was up probably about 50, 60%, but I'm still adding to my position, Okay. Uh, another position that's looking good is Apple. Apple, I'm up over 42% on the day. Uh, excuse me, 42% overall, okay? Uh, JP Morgan, I'm up 50%. So again, as we saw in that article in Robinhood, banks are on the rise. So you may want to add to either your current bank position or any of your other financial position, financial sector stocks, okay? American Express is on the rise. American Express, again, you want to wait for the dip. It's up 1.18% on the day, but American Express is another financial company. As business travel and corporate travel recovers, you want to buy into some of these uh, credit card companies like American Express. All right. Also, the chip, Marvel Technologies is a major chip playing company. You want to buy the dip on some of these. Also, uh, and NVIDIA, AMD, and then Bank of America, of course, I'm up 104%. So just take a look at this list. 
these are numerous stocks that you want to add to Apple, uh, same JP Morgan, uh, Ford, Ford definitely. I've been talking about that one a lot lately, and American Express. So that's my update. Again, some of my top stocks in the day include Tesla. Let's see, Tesla. Yeah. Tesla, Tesla up 4.57% and Okta up 4.17%. But also we, we don't want to leave out Snap. Snap is up huge, up over 58% on the day. Again, Snap is recovering now because Snap just six months ago was actually trading at about 55 bucks a share. So again, Snap is in a rebuilding pl place. So if you want to build a position to Snap, actually it's probably a good time to start or start the nibble at least to look at because uh, it, it can get back to $55 per share. But those who people who bought during the dip, the recent dip, they have been rewarded. It is up over 57, 58% on the day. So again, those were my top stocks. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like, share. And if you like some free stock from Robinhood, please use my link below. And we'll see you on the next video.